You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. Contaminated Salt by Dr. Michael Youssef When Jesus called us the salt of the earth, he most likely was referring to the preservation function of salt. Jesus' first disciples would have been intimately familiar with salt's function. Without refrigeration, the fish they caught would quickly spoil and rot unless they were packed in salt. Once salted, the fish could be safely stored and used when needed. The spiritual health and strength of the Christian counteract the corruption of the world. Christians, as salt, inhibit sin's power to destroy lives. This, in turn, creates opportunities for the gospel to be proclaimed and received. We've been given an incredible privilege to be the salt of the earth. Still, Jesus gave us a warning. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. That's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Jesus did not say that we can lose our salvation. He said that we can lose our saltiness. When salt is contaminated, it becomes corrosive and poisonous, so it has to be thrown on the road. If we've allowed disobedience, carelessness, and indifference to rule our lives, we've become contaminated salt and have lost our saltiness. We need to confess our sin and let the Lord restore us as the salt of the earth. Let's pray together. Father, we pray that you would show us if there's any areas in our lives that have become contaminated, causing us to lose our saltiness. Purify us so that we can be the salt of the earth. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If today's devotional encouraged you, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a review and share this episode with a friend who needs to hear it. My devotional is a ministry of Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. To learn more, visit ltw.org today. In a world where power and influence are often overvalued, God honors the humble and those who have a heart for him. There is no greater example in the Bible than the life of King David. In his book, A Heart for God, Dr. Michael Youssef offers you powerful reminders of God's faithfulness to bring glory and victory out of brokenness and failure. The website where you can learn more about the content and order your copy, A Heart for God, is ltw.org.